The Siemens Citrans FS230 ultrasonic flow meter is the next generation clamp-on solution building on our 45 years of experience in clamp-on technology. The FS230 offers best-in-class performance along with a wide range of standard features designed to help you achieve exceptional performance and outstanding value. The FS230 is an ideal fit for any industry requiring high quality liquid flow measurement. To get your FS230 installed quickly and easily, this video will address the methods used to mount and wire the transmitter for the North American market where conduit is typically utilized. The FS230 transmitter with internal DSL can be mounted to a wall or with the use of a mounting kit to a standpipe. For wall mounting, first select your location, then lay out the mounting holes for the transmitter. They will form a 9.2 inch square. Drill and install anchors, then fasten the transmitter to the wall through the pre-drilled mounting holes. The FS230 transmitter enclosure is equipped with nine individual entry ports at the bottom of its case. Each of these ports has metric M20 threads designed to accept cable glands. Here in North America, it is more common to utilize flex or rigid conduit connections, depending on local codes or your own company directives. If you're going to be using conduit for your installation, you'll need some of these. Siemens supplies a set of metric to NPT adapters with your FS230 system. They accommodate half-inch NPT threads for your flex or rigid conduit connections. Siemens also offers a selection of glands and adapters in a variety of materials which can be specified at the time of ordering. Select the case openings you will use for power and signal cable connections and remove the blind plug from each. To begin wiring the transmitter, open the meter door and remove the power input cover. Thread an MPT adapter into the case opening, feed in the power cable, then seal the conduit connection. The FS230 accepts either AC or DC power. Note the termination points on the cover label. The terminal connector is removable for easy wiring. With the power wires terminated, reinstall the safety cover. Input-output signal wiring is performed in the same manner as the power connection. Now that we've completed the installation of the power and signal cable conduits, let's talk about the flow sensor cables. These require a different installation process than was used previously. This is because the FS230 flow sensor cables connect to F connectors that are recessed inside the enclosure to meet electrical isolation requirements. Connection of the sensor cables to the internal DSL requires the use of the provided F connector tool. The connections must be made prior to securing the conduit to the FS230 case. Yes, you can use flex or rigid conduit by observing just a few simple steps. For illustration, we'll use rigid conduit. First note that the two openings on the left are for path 1 and the two on the right are for path 2. These connections are illustrated on the meter's label. Install your rigid conduit run between the sensor location and the transmitter with a pull box below the transmitter. Do not attach the pull box to the wall yet. All sensor cables from a single transmitter can be run in a common conduit from the pull box to the sensor location. However, separate conduits are necessary between the transmitter and the pull box. With the cables pulled through the conduit, slide an NPT compression fitting and an adapter onto each cable. Remove the F connector tool from inside the transmitter, slide it over the downstream cable while pushing down on the conduit for clearance. Use the F connector tool to fasten the cable to the F connector of the DSL. Repeat the process for the upstream cable connection. Now that your cables are connected, slide the NPT adapters and compression fittings up to the enclosure and tighten them. 
Then push the conduit up into the fittings and secure them. Lastly, fasten the pull box to the wall and add conduit bracing as necessary. Your FS-230 is now fully wired and powered. You can now proceed with programming and commissioning of your FS-230 system. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.